Hello, um, I've got Mark Hamilton with me, and Mark, uh, now you brought this amazing painting, mm. uh, which I think is a Van Dyke. Mm. Um, Van Dyke is spectacular. If you haven't come across Van Dyke, uh, Van Dyke is the Charles I painter. He brought him over from the Netherlands, mm. and he stayed here for six years or so, seven years? Six 1634, years. and he died 16. 41. Anyway, this is a painting. Now, look, tell me, tell me where this painting comes from, because there's a big debate over it, isn't there? And I think we ought to do something about that. Yes. Um, well, who is it of? It's of Maria Louise de Tassus. Yeah. And the larger version is in the Liechtenstein Royal Collection, and this one was owned by the King of Poland. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Mm. But there's a there's a Russian link in there as well, isn't there? Yes, and, well, and, 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 the, and the painting has survived um, th three times people tried to grab it. From Russia. From Russia. From Russia. Three yes, times three tried to be grabbed times. by... Well, the Russians do that. I mean, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was the ghost of Putin. But, but also, also isn't, hasn't, hasn't, hasn't God got an element here? You've made, a, you've made some sort of promise I made to God. a promise to God that Countess... In of, Polish. Well, to a Polish Countess. How lovely. We all do that. And Countess of Potocka said... You're not allowed to sell this painting unless it is by Van Dyck and it cannot be sold or given away. So you have, to, has, you have to prove that it is by, by Van Dyck. Van Dyck. So and she said it, it looks the, like a Van Dyck. It does, but you have to go through all the science. And there's all lots of stuff on the back, isn't there? Yes. So, 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 so the back, here and there. looking on the back side of a painting is, what, is what's important. You've, that's, <laughs> I call that the... Um, the the art market mafia secrets it, it, it's so <laughs> they sad. never tell you what's behind a painting in fact <laughs> there's all there's all these little um the, 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 there's all these little um numbers behind the painting and little and little stickers am, yes, I, am yes. I right these little stickers and it's the stickers which are important and the yes. numbers which are important yes. and the number for coming out of poland coming out of this place coming yes. out of that place and 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 who originally was the Oh, was, no. was, was a yeah. Who 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 originally sold it in auction? I believe because you can go right. all the way back. Can't we you? believe. Um, well, the sticker we believe is the dealer of the King of Poland, and yeah. his, his, his name, his is, name is, is Peter Yeva. Yeva, there we are. And yeah. Yeva's J V E R. But when you're researching him, he's also known as Y V E R. Yes. So you have to search both names when you're. Searching all the catalogues and doing all the research, you have to have both. But it's not in the art world. I mean, for, 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 forgive me for sounding a little bit sort of conspiratorial, but the art world isn't very regulated, is it? As zero regulations. So you could say anything, couldn't you? As long as long as you've got the sort of um, as long as you're a um, uh, let's, sort of Philip Mould type person, you could claim anything. I might like it to say depends that. how artistically you say it. <laughs> But, so if I if, if I were a big wig in the art world and I could say that is a Van Dyck or that is a Leonardo, wasn't there there, there was the Leonardo the Salvador Mundi? Yes, the Salvador Mundi that yeah. was. But I mean, all the experts were you know all in a disarray over that one. So you have but isn't it, isn't the it number one expert in Oxford. He came out on top. He was used by Christie's to sell the painting because he said. It's 100% by Leonardo, which Have means... Have seen it? Yes. It, it doesn't look that authentic, does it? Um, parts of it, I would say, do. I, I, I believe one of the other experts said she believes it was 20% by Leonardo and 80% by his assistants. Right, which still means that Leonardo could have done the outline. But all of these, all, all of these artists the assistants, had assistants. Didn't they? Raphael, them. I know, yes. had a huge yes. band of assistants yes. who, which are particular, particular assistants, did faces, other yes. assistants did wings, and, and Van Dyck had the same background. Uh, totally. But Van Dyck had a. He had, was taught had, by. He had a factory. He had he, a few. <laughs> I mean, it was a conveyor belt system. It, 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 it was. It, it was a Ford. Ford Motor yes. Manufacture System yes. for Ford. And this is the problem with the studios. It's a bit like Andy Warhol, but not as bad as Andy Warhol, not producing as much. Pre-1634, Van Dyke had two studios, one with Rubens, 
Rubens taught Van Dyck everything about... I thought it was Bruegel. No, Bruegel was... Bruegel was his younger best friend. Both of them were students. Are we using that in a, in, yes. in a core euphemistic Both way? Both of them were students of You're smiling. Rubens. You're smiling, aren't yes, you? You're yes. smiling. Yeah, yeah. Core euphemism. Well, they did... Did they? Sleep in the same... Hmm. Yes, really? room and... Do we know this? Tra- Yes, we do know that. There was the court case of 1662 that the, the Bruegel, yes, said he knew Van Dyck intimately. Yes, so they were very good friends. They and then, travelled, and then Bruegel finished They travelled the to Italy. Yes, they travelled. Bro, Bro, young Bruegel, young Bruegel, Bruegel was a yes. No, he, was a he wasn't. He was basically finishing off his father's art. So you say. And he was finishing off. Um, Anybody else's art? Uh, Van Dyke's where art? He, inter- he, he inherited Van Dyke's studio. But, yeah, so, 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 and so he let's... started selling off um, unfinished works by Van Dyke. And obviously, he'd already had 20 years' experience of finishing unfinished works by his father. So, yes. If I, if, if I were finishing other people's works, I would be called a fraud. Yes, but in those days, there were no copyright laws or rules or regulations. There's still no um, proper regulations. Did, didn't the Queen get caught in, 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 in this just before she died? Yes. Um, but we'll talk about that later today. I'm so sorry. So sorry. No, no, no. Isn't it? <laughs> Don't so, jump so, the gun. So if we, if um, so, not 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 thinking about your wonderful painting because she does look gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and 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 wherever she comes from, she she she's a sensation. But the uh, surely, if I if I wanted to send lots of money from one place to another, I just simply say this painting is by Leonardo, and and, and, and I collect my gone. millions. Yeah, you could do that in free ports and tax-free. And is that what's happening at the moment? Um, there is a lot of art in the free ports I don't want to for con- tax-free reasons, yes. yes I think probably because of the fact that you've had um, the Lichtenstein leaks, Panama leaks, the Monseca um, law leaks too. I mean, So people have really stopped using... Art as, as beautiful things, it's become a form of currency. It has. It That's is a so sad. Right? So, so out of so, so we've got a lot of art in galleries. We've got a certain amount of art yeah. in stately homes. Yeah. We've got some art, of course, in my front room, and um, uh, 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 but the majority of art is in free ports. Lots of it. Lots of it. Just yes. Hoarded up. Hoarded up. Nobody will see it. A lot of the times, people won't see. The whole of the catalogue resume of many of these artists. It's so sad. Because it is really sad. And I don't want this to end like that. I don't want my painting in a free port. I think we. I, I think what we need to do is to is, is to chart the the background of this painting. So 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 we, we're going to tease you with 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 this video, and I think and, yeah. and we're going to, we're going we're going to do a lot more about about it. Is is that a reasonable? I do, Mark. Yes, definitely. Right. Okay. So, do you do do you, do you have a final message? Because we were going to do two minutes, and we've we, we've strayed into a good five or ten minutes here, haven't we? Yes, I Sorry. think I think truth should be free. I've always maintained that. Um, but the problem in the art world is, you have to pay for it, and there's a lot of shenanigans. You know, you've got the auction houses. Uh, you know, in New York, London, Amsterdam, and they will say one view. And then we have the academia in Antwerp, Brussels and Amsterdam, and they have all their hierarchies as well. And it's really difficult to anyway, trust any of them. I mean, I personally believe we should be heading towards artificial intelligence to verify art. And the oh, then, then you could yes. say what, what, what direction somebody's brush was yes. going. As opposed to these personal things. Oh, it looks mechanical. Oh, it doesn't look free. Oh, it's not like this style or that style. Oh, it's got a different colour of paint. Yes. You know, like Naples yellow. Naples yellow. And the experts are saying that <laughs> Van Dyck and Bruegel travelled all throughout Italy for five years before this painting was painted and never used Naples yellow. Well, but, but, but have you it, ever heard of such? But, but people didn't use Naples. They did. 
there would have been about, well, we don't know because we have an infrared so scan. Naples this, yellow was a new colour, which was... Which it started was, in 1545, it was invented in Naples, and it's like a oil gouache. So you're just mixing... You're, you're, uh, you're mixing, mixing egg, egg yolk. <laughs> mixing it with um, yellow ochre. So it just looks very creamy. Yes, but light. It's a very light coloured um, yellow. But what, it's all the highlights of the sleeve. So is, is, isn't that... Isn't and so that a, gold. Right. And so about um, 4% of the 153 masterpieces um, that have been infrared scanned for it have come up with Naples yellow. So, so then that's you can't... Well, yellow. apparently only 10, over a dozen... Um, Van Dyke's have been scanned for Naples yellow and then somehow the Rubignanum comes up with this blatant um, you know almost fictitious statement saying that Van Dyke never ever ever touched it he only used tin yellow and it's such a I don't know really an arrogant mm -hmm. statement especially when none of the Van Dyke's have been scanned most of them refused to get their um, collection scanned because well, they don't some want of them, to lose its value. Some of them, you, you, you can't see them without paying practically a thousand quid to go and, to go and have a little, a yeah. little sneaky look. Yeah, well, they'll only let you have a, you know, to, to take it further. I mean, Kick Erpa, for example, they won't touch a painting unless they know it's got some credibility. And if it doesn't pass the science test, in the first week, then they'll just hand it back to you. They won't waste your time, their time, or your money. Yeah. So they are quite... So the science side I trust, and that's the science side I want to go for. That's the important thing. Science, when you're talking about verifying any form of masterpiece, if you've seen in Fake and mm -hmm. Fortune, this is what they do. But then you've got the other side of professionals that have got their own personal opinions and which are important yeah but they can also be in hierarchical whatever i think we must sort of separate some of the uh, so-called experts opinions from the science and when the science is telling you one thing and then they're telling you another because they've got invested interests then you've got to somehow, what do you go with? And I do think um, AI will get there in the end, because if you've got everything from every painting that one of these masters that have done, and then you start comparing them with what we know is Van Dyke, what we know is studio, what we know which artists painted at that studio, I mean, they, they've done this with, um, you know, the recent AI investigations with Raphael. Oh, yes. So not only were they trying to verify a, a Raphael, but when all the data was going into these computers... So they can tell they which were, figures weren't, weren't actually painted, painted by, Raphael. by Raphael. Yeah, Perfect. So they can know which is the studio, which is the artist. And this is the problem. Yes. It's like I've said, Rubens' studio, Van Dyke's studio, was just a mass orgy of plagiarists and copyists. And there was no copyright rules and regulations in those days. Absolutely, absolutely. Look, look anyway, we will, we, we will come back to this and look at this in a lot more detail yeah. um, over the next few, few months. months. And, yeah. um, and we need to follow this process. And yes. Thank you very much. Mark. Yes, I'm 85% nearly there. <laughs> Only 10% to go. So we're nearly there.